In this lecture, we will continue with abacus and we are going to learn how to plot curves for different types of output once we run the analysis. To understand this, I am going to open up a file. So go to open, go to your plate folder and I have already run the analysis of plate coupling. Here click on ODB because we want the output. So select job plate, click OK. Here we need to go to visualization. So this is again an example of plate bending in which we have used a coupling. And if you go to the output, click on this plot contour shape and I will try to rotate this. First click on this perspective view of now try to rotate this. So here in this way you can see you can see displacement. I want to check out the displacement here. Okay, so first I will have to set the proper units. So go to viewport, viewport annotation options legend. Here in the formula, I will select fixed. Let's say I want up to two decimal. Click OK. Okay. Now also here I want to I don't want this type of box so I can make a uncheck on this click apply and okay. Okay that depends on our settings. So now uh, what I want to find out in this analysis is basically I want to create multiple plots. So let's say I want to create a plot of displacement of any node with respect to the force we have applied or we can also find out for the reaction force as well. So in the type of output, if you go to the CF concentrated force, you can see it is going to show the force we have applied on the node. Okay, so here you will see reaction forces. Again, the reaction force will be generated onto the fixed location we have, where we have applied the boundary conditions. Okay, so now I will go to displacement. Okay, so in the previous lectures, we have discussed about different types of outputs in Abacus. Now we are going to create plot of some output. So one thing I want to see is, let's see the location of maximum displacement. So click on contour, here you will see color limit. Okay, go to limit. Click on show location for the maximum apply. Now here you will see the maximum deformation onto this node. Okay. Also, uh, let's say I want to find out the displacement of center node. If you go to CF here, you can see we have applied the force using a node that is uh, using the coupling. I want to find out the displacement of this node. So we can pick up any node. It is just for an example. So let's say probe values node. So if I click on this node here, you will see node ID is 2 here. If I make a check on this, it is going to highlight here. And you will see CF on this node is 10,000. We can check on this. We just want to find out the node ID it is 2. Click cancel. Click no. Now, when you want to plot anything, you need to click on go to tools. You will see X, Y option. When you want to plot anything, we need to go to this option. Click on create. Now you will see two options. ODB history output or ODB field output. So when we want to create any plot using history output, first we need to give it the request you during the analysis but in this problem i think we have not given any output request click on continue here you will see we can find the plot of all these types of output by default so we cannot find the force and displacement here because we have not given the request during the analysis okay when the request is not given we can also find it from the field output. So click on dismiss. Once again, you can also go to this option from this XY. 
this time i will find these values from field output click on continue here in this field output i want the output at a specific node so click on position click on unique nodal so all these parameters it is showing we can find these outputs so let's say i want to plot output for a displacement so here we can select the type of output we want so first i want to find out the displacement so click on this arrow here you will see u that is displacement let's say i want to find out the total magnitude so after we select the parameter we need to select the node onto which we want to calculate these results so click on element nodes here we have multiple option pick from viewport if i directly go to this viewport let me drag this with this option i can directly pick up any node or element you can see now the node is highlighting i'm not clicking here with this node label we can insert any node id if we have created any set we can select any of the set so we know the node id of the center node is 2 i can go to 2 insert 2 here click on highlight item so you can see it is highlighted when i make and check on this you can see it is not highlighted so it is going to show the highlight view so we have pick up the node now click on variables we have selected the variable here we have option of plotting directly but first i want to save it click on save click okay now click dismiss once again if you go to this option xy data manager you will see a data point if i make a double click on this or we can go to edit on the left side you can see x y plot for the x you can see x is representing the time and y is representing the displacement of that node okay we can also plot this so here click on plot option click on plot click on dismiss so you can see this is the displacement and this is the time so now let's say i want to change some settings for this to change the settings make a double click on this graph here we can insert the grids make a check on the grid you can see now we can insert grid in x and y direction we can change the area from here by selecting the proper values i am selecting automatic feature here we can also change the color of this graph let's say click on this color and we can give it any color let's say i will go to this cmy and the color code i want 0 0 i want to give it yellowish so let's say this is 55 click okay we can also give it some border color you can see it is black so you can change according to our requirement click dismiss now it is showing the plot if you want to change this uh, curve you can go to this option of xy curve option with this you can change the settings you can change the color of this curve let's say this is blue click okay you can change the style here let's say i want uh, this curve i can we can change the thickness as well okay when we want to show any animation we can also show the multiple points here make a check on this now it is going to highlight the points that are used to create the curve we can increase the size for this you can see it you can see now it is large you can see the points i don't want to show them so make and check click dismiss if you want to make some if you want to change some settings into this xy graph make a double click on this on this time so first time is selected you can select the type of scale that is linear by default you can change the increment you can see increment is automatic we can go to increment by manual let's say i want to make it 0.1 and click on this auto fit now you can see for this time uh, this 
increment has changed similarly you can change more settings like uh, you can change the font style here you can change the, the thickness etc so again you can do all these things by yourself and you can change the color of the font from here you can go to this axis and here you can also change the settings okay let's say i will go to de decimal i can reduce or increase the decimal from here if you want to change it for the displacement click on displacement here and then we can again change the settings maximum minimum values let's say i want to show the maximum for 2 click insert 2 click on fit now it will show displacement for 2 so again this is the plot for displacement with respect to time now I want to create one more plot so once again click on deform shape from here go to XY manager create field output continue on the same node I want to find out the CF so make a uncheck on this go to CF and click on magnitude here select unique nodal again in the node level I want to select the same node that is node ID 2 and we can confirm with the uh, highlight option you can see save ok dismiss and you can see this is U this is CF click on plot dismiss this is force with respect to time you can see unit of force is 10 e raised to the power 3 so we can change it just make a double click here and here go to axis in the format select decimal increase the decimal so up to okay you can see decimal we don't need I can make it zero okay now it is proper now I want to plot a curl between displacement and force so we need to combine these two curves so once again we can go to plot shape go to xy manager here you can see cf and u so to combine them click on create go to operate in xy data continue now here we can see we can use multiple uh, manipulation option like plus minus inverse etc you can see sin theta so there are lots of option for changing these data points I want to combine them so you will see option of combine now you can see combine here and inside this bracket it is highlighting so make a double click on u first and then cf if you make any mistake you can go to clear expression once again go to combine double click here then double click here you can see u and cf you can directly plot the expression from here but first I want to save it go to save as click ok now click cancel you will see new xy data point we can change the name from here you can go to rename and change the name now click on plot dismiss so you can see it is displacement with respect to force again we can change the settings here you can see displacement is not proper onto this horizontal axis make a double click here and for the displacement let's say I want to change the maximum to 2 and fit I want to increase the increment let's say this is 0 0.2 then fit so in this way we can change the settings as we want and dismiss so in this way we can plot the curves for any parameter we want for example when we perform the frequency response analysis we plot the curve between amplitude and frequency so we can take any parameter using the similar method